If you're like most home cooks, you've probably been in this situation. You have a get together coming up and you wanna make a charcuterie or cheese board for friends or family, but then you think to yourself, where do I start? What do I do? What do I get? So today we'll talk about tips and ideas that you can use so you can make your own charcuterie or cheese board. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Nayad and I'm a self-taught home cook. My goal with this channel is really to just give you recipes and ideas and inspiration so that you can become more confident in the kitchen. So first, I recommend you decide what board or stone you'd like to use. Here are some samples of some of them. It can be round, they can be wood, they can be stone. Anniversary ones, you can use the back. Uh, so any shape like this, it's important to keep in mind how many people will be eating from these, that way you know what size to use. See, these are just different ideas, different sizes. They don't have to be wood. There's also some um, already made ones that are exclusively for that. When you open the little compartments, it comes with everything to be able to set it up, which makes it easy. Another tip is to try to use boards with a lip on them so stuff doesn't come up today or come off the board. Today, I'm gonna use my big board. So there's no lip around it, so I just need to be careful to place things so they don't come off. Next, decide what ingredients you like to use. To make it easier for you and be practical, you can even get pre-packaged prosciutto, salami, pepperoni, or even pre-rolled cheese and salami sticks. Another great hack is a pre-packaged Mediterranean tapas platters. You just place the ingredients in ramekins and onto your board, and you can even get pre-cut cheese, which makes it so much easier. You can add different types of spreadable cheese like brie, gourmet, or goat cheese. Of course, fresh fruits, especially berries, are just so perfect for these boards and they pair really well with cheese and different wines. And a variety of grapes to add more color and flavor. Dry fruits are also a great choice, as well as nuts. Then, place your heroes first. That is, the main things that you want to feature for your board. If you can't think of what that could be, here's an idea. Salami or pepperoni roses are always something that will elevate the look and feel of your board and will give it that special touch. And they're really easy to make. I'm gonna show you how. On a shot glass, just grab the salami, fold it in half and press it down with your fingers and start placing it all around the edge of the shot glass. Overlap them halfway and continue going until you're all the way around and it's nice and full. Press those salamis really tight and then flip it over and smash it onto the board so that it comes off easier off the glass. Then just spread it open and organize the petals so that they look nice and pretty. You can use salami, pepperoni or different types so that there's different types of roses or even mix and match. Then to make the salami river, you just simply fold in half, press with your fingers to score it, fold in half again, press with your fingers to score it, and then just overlap them. Charcuterie boards typically feature a selection of cured meats or pates, as well as cheeses and crackers or bread. In terms of cheese, I would stick to spreadable cheeses or cubes and slices that are easy to grab and eat. As you keep working, keep in mind the height and the color of all of your ingredients. So that way nothing obstructs the view of anything else. What I'm gonna do for this one is keep the taller things in the back and towards the sides. Don't forget, sweet jams, spreads, fruits, honey, preserves, as well as chocolate and nuts are a great addition to these boards. Even if it's just a little bit, especially to fill in little gaps. Color will also be important. As I always say, we eat with our eyes. So colorful foods that are more appealing to the eye are gonna be so much better. And speaking of color, you can even do themes, color themes or even uh, food themes like Italian themes or Mexican or German or even versions, keto versions, vegetarian versions, vegan versions, or you could do sweets, salted, or a mix of all of it. Since you can customize it, the possibilities are endless, so have fun with it. 
Okay, something really cool about these boards is that they're great year round for any occasion. From like a romantic little dinner or a fun time with your girlfriends or if you're going to the park or the beach or a drive-in, even in weddings or anniversaries. So no matter how small a crowd or big a crowd or how simple or elaborate the event can be, these work great for that. Thank you so much for watching and I hope this was as an enjoyable video for you guys to watch as it was for me to make. And if you want any more ideas, recipes and more fun stuff, check it out on my channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Bye, see you on the next one.